we have already learned how to construct a perpendicular bisector of a line segment can we draw a perpendicular bisector to a line well we can draw a perpendicular to a line but we cannot really bisect a line why because in order to bisect a line you must know the measure of the line so that you can divide it into two equal parts but we know that a line extends indefinitely in both the directions that is it goes till infinity thus we do not know the actual length of the line so there is no way in which we can know the half of the measure of a line so we cannot bisect a line however we can draw a perpendicular to a line so let us now draw a perpendicular to a line through a point on the line using a ruler and a compass so first let us take a line l now we need to construct a perpendicular to the line passing through the given point p on the line in order to do that we first take a convenient radius on our compass that is any convenient radius neither too big nor too small on our compass and with p as the center we draw an arc intersecting the line l at two points let us call these points of intersection a and b thus we now have a line segment ab of length twice the radius of the arc that we took on the compass and we can draw a perpendicular bisector to it now since we draw the arc from p without changing the radius this means ap equal to bp that is p is the midpoint of the line segment ab so if we draw a perpendicular bisector to the line segment ab it will pass through p because p is the midpoint and it will also be perpendicular to l which is what we want so let us do that let us take point a as the center and radius more than half the length of line segment ab we draw an arc from a on one side of line l now with b as the center and the same radius as before we draw an arc from b such that it intersects the previous arc we call this point of intersection as q normally we would draw arcs on both sides of the line segment ab but since we already know one point on the perpendicular bisector which is p we don't need to do that now join pq and extend it on either side to form a line which would be perpendicular to line l we call this line m so line m is perpendicular to line l now let us check with a protractor we see that the angle is 90 degree there is another neat trick to construct a perpendicular to a line at a given point although we cannot use this trick always so we take a paper it is better if we take a tracing paper or a transparent paper and we draw a line l on it let us mark a point p anywhere on l now we fold the paper such that line l is reflected on itself or overlaps on itself and we adjust the fold so that the crease of the fold passes through the marked point p now we open the paper and the crease formed is perpendicular to line l how would you check if it is perpendicular once again we check with the protractor and we see that the crease coincides with the 90 degree angle so this is how we can construct 
the perpendicular to a line through a point on it using a ruler and a compass and also using the trick which we learnt. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like Playstations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.